So what are the principles of this chaos security engineering? First, you have to expect security controls to fail, and you must prepare accordingly. System architecture has to be designed under the assumption that security controls have the potential for failure. You also have to design your architecture assuming users will fail, where failure is user behavior that doesn't adhere to secure principles. The second thing is don't try to avoid security incidents. Instead, you have to embrace your ability to respond to them. Security incidents aren't fully preventable. They never have, and I'm pretty sure they never will be. Um, the focus instead should really be on ensuring that systems are resilient enough to handle incidents gracefully. I personally think it's freeing to move away from the kind of standard of perfect prevention, which is impossible, towards resilience instead. And it's something that I've seen y'all doing on the performance side already. To avoid complacency with all of this, you can use game days, which let you practice a potentially risky scenario in a safe environment. If you don't test in a production-like environment, you're not really going to understand how things will work when the complexity domino chain starts happening in your systems. So game days proactively test resilience to establish confidence in your systems at scale. The problem is you have to know what game days to prioritize given your time and resource constraints. This is very true for security game days, too. You want to prioritize security game days based on the potential impact to the business. Consider what's most important from your customer's perspective. Likely, it's going to be related to service disruption, the leak leakage of customer credentials or sensitive data, as well as compliance violations. In game days, for security game days, the goal is really to verify that you have your monitoring, alerting, and response capabilities firmly in place. Decision trees, which I've talked about before in my prior work, um, can be valuable guides for crafting security game day scenarios. So for example, start with whatever the business priority is. Let's say it's an S3 bucket containing sensitive customer data. Then you brainstorm how the attacker would most easily get to their goal of accessing and exfiltrating that data. It's tempting to dream up elaborate scenarios, but as another keynote speaker, James Micken, has said before, it's very unlikely that Mossad's going like, to fluctuate your data center's power supply to exfiltrate data bit by bit. Instead, you really have to determine the least cost path attackers are going to take to get to their goal. That's something more like phishing rather than zero-day exploits. The least cost path is really the most sensible place to start your testing as well. A guiding principle as you embed security into the software delivery lifecycle is that your goal should always be raising the cost of attack. Even advanced attackers like nation states, look at what Russia did with the DNC, will absolutely use easy and dumb methods like phishing in order to get to their goal. Force them to put in the work. Make them earn them compromising. You don't let them get in the easy way.